Charlie Glotzbach is on the pole in car number 99. Richard Petty alongside. Row number two, Buddy Baker and Freddie Lorenzen. The third row, Hale Yarbrough and Pete Hamilton. The green flag. Charlie Glassback grabs the lead, then Petty and Buddy Baker. Richard Petty pulls away slightly on the back chute. But in turn number three, Richard goes too high and allows Buddy Baker to slip into second. Now Glassback, Baker and Petty third. Buddy Baker makes his move on the outside down the main chute. He gets by Glassback to take first place. And Petty takes over the second spot. Bobby Isaacs has to drop behind the leaders. Leroy Yarbrough is on the move to improve his position. He passes slower cars in moving up. He really puts his foot in it on the straightaway. Richard Petty has slipped by Buddy Baker for first place. Baker tries to pass on the inside. No go. On the back straight, Buddy powers by Richard. And Buddy Baker regains the lead. Number 99, Charlie Gottsback is running third. The field rounds turn four. Gottsback car quits and Charlie is out of contention. Number 37 slips and slides through the turn and brings out the yellow. Buddy Baker pits under the caution and so does Richard Petty. Bobby Isaac does not pit and takes the lead. He has Freddy Lorenzen right on his bumper. Leroy Yarborough is pushing hard to improve his position. He passes three cars on the main straight. Leroy keeps pushing and gets by Lorenzen. He's now running second. Only a few laps to go, and a car is in trouble in the main straight. Eleven laps to go, and Bobby Isaac blows an engine. Seventy-six also blows an engine, and all this brings out the yellow flag. The race continues under the caution flag, with Leroy leading. The winner gets the checkered flag, still running under the caution. Leroy Yarbrough wins the Charlotte National 500. Miss Falstaff presents the Falstaff Trophy to the winner. This time, Miss Falstaff gets the kiss from the winner's son. After the race, Bobby Isaac talked about his near win. I started the race, and uh, I guess I was running back about eighth or tenth, which wasn't bad at, uh, at the start of the race. And as the race went on, uh, my competition in the point race seemed to seemed to fall away, and uh, I seemed to be left all by myself as far as the points was concerned. And then I put on a good charge and managed to catch up two laps that I was behind and had everything going my way. And this was uh, this was one place I really wanted to win a race because it was 40 miles from my hometown. And, uh, you know, a lot, of, a lot of local people are there, and uh, I think everybody feels good when local people are watching them race. But you know, everything was going good, and like I say, I, 
managed to get to the lead 11 laps ago, and then I burned the bearing out, blew an engine, and it was all over for that day, and uh, you just go home and think about it for another day or another week or another year, just whenever the next race, and uh, forget that one, go run the other one, and hope to go back again.